Research has found that 12% of all couples in the United States have problems getting pregnant, problems with infertility. That's over 7 million couples having a hard time having a child. That's a lot. I mean, I didn't realize the numbers were that big until we started having quite a few people coming in uh, to our office with infertility problems getting pregnant and um, you're probably thinking well how can upper cervical chiropractic have anything to do with infertility how can a problem in my neck prevent me from being able to get pregnant or have children well let me tell you a story about Mindy so just like you probably watching this video Mindy really had uh, did not believe that upper cervical chiropractic or uh, a problem in her neck could have anything to do with her ability to get pregnant. So Mindy came to me and uh, she had spent over $180,000 trying to get pregnant on infertility clinics, uh, on medications, uh, about eight years they were trying to get pregnant. And so she comes into the office one day and she says, you know, I, I really don't know why I'm here. Uh, my sister said I had to come here, um, but uh, so I just figured I'd come and just see what this was about. I said, no problem. So we checked her. We did a, a, an upper cervical uh, evaluation and we found that she definitely had a misalignment at the top of her neck. And that was interfering with the normal transmission from her brain to her body. Now, where does that go? Well, it's really impossible to know. It could be interfering with the messages, say, to her reproductive system. Uh, so we took some x-rays and we found that uh, the top bone in her neck was actually the one that was out of alignment. We made a very specific correction to that top bone, putting it back perfectly where it's supposed to be. And then we did a post evaluation and we found that now the bone was repositioned. So I told Mindy, I said, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to keep an eye on this over the next several months uh, so that as soon as that bone goes back out, we get it back in place. As we keep the bone in place, the communications open back up between the brain and the body, and then things, the body starts to heal, and then we hope to see that the reproductive system starts to work like it's supposed to. Well, so Mindy says, you know what, I'm moving to Dallas in a month, so, you know, we really don't have time to do this. Uh, there's no need in continuing on. I was like, well, it's up to you. I said, you know, why don't we do this? Why don't we see what we can do within a month just to see, you know, you never know how quick the body is going to respond. So if we just monitor to you until you go to Dallas, uh, then at least we can see where things go. So Mindy, Mindy says, OK, sure. Well, Mindy left. Mindy never showed up again. Uh, she canceled her next appointment. And uh, so a couple months went by and I'm in the office uh, seeing patients and, and uh, my office manager comes up to me. And she says, Dr. Drew, you've got a phone call uh, and uh, it's some, uh, some lady from Dallas. It's like, okay. So I go and I, I pick up the phone. I said, hello. They said, Dr. Drew, I love you. I'm like, okay. She said, this is Mindy. She said, you probably don't even remember me, but I came in your office, came in, you checked me gave me one correction. I said, this is a waste of time. Here I am two months later, I've not done anything else and I'm pregnant. I was like, wow, congratulations. Now, Mindy is kind of the exception. Okay, it doesn't often happen from one correction. Now it has happened before from one correction, but uh, what you have to do is we have to find out if there's something that could be potentially interfering with the messages from your brain getting to the reproductive system to make sure that everything happens the way it's supposed to. If there's a problem there, and if we can remove any interference between your brain and your body, then things start to work normal. Okay, there's a reason why if you're not able to get pregnant, there's a reason. Okay, now it could very possibly be that your body's just got some interference problems, some electrical wiring issues that when straightened out can normalize and the body can then actually do what it's supposed to do, the way it's intended. Now, if you're suffering from infertility, I'd recommend you at least go and find an upper cervical chiropractor near you that can check you to see if maybe there is something interfering with the normal transmission from your brain to your reproductive system. If there is, then if he corrects it and removes that interference, then there's a good chance that now your body's going to work normal and things should happen as they're designed, right? And you should be able to get pregnant. Now, if you're in the Charlotte area, 
uh, that anywhere around, you know, Belmont, Gastonia, Fort Mill, Rock Hill, Huntersville, Cornelius, Pineville Matthews, anywhere in the Charlotte area, we're the upper cervical doctor for you. Uh, I would like to offer you, if you tell them you saw this video, an opportunity to come in and at least have a consultation with one of our doctors for free. It won't cost you a penny to at least find out if we believe you have an upper cervical problem that we can help you with. Uh, and uh, all you have to do is call our office at 704-588-5560. Uh, tell them you saw this video. We'll schedule you for a no charge consultation. Let's see what's going on. See if maybe it's something we can help you with. If it is, we'll explain to you what we need to do. Uh, and we'll probably have to take some specific x-rays. But if you don't have an upper cervical problem, at least you can strike that from the list and we know that's not the problem. But if it is, it could very likely change your life. So thank you for tuning in. If you know anyone uh, with infertility or problems getting pregnant, please share this video with them. Uh, I think uh, it could possibly change their life as well. So Hope you have a great day. We look forward to seeing you soon.